As there's the final whistle, Wrexham win 2 0 and keep the pressure on at the top of the table. Yeah, as, um, see that. Just seeing the replay, that's a penalty, yeah. definite penalty. Yeah, is it a penalty? Yeah. yeah. They had arm up, handball, and he was in the box. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> bizarre one, but Wrexham don't care. Well, when does Wrexham that ever happen? Mullen you cares yeah, Mullen because he would have had a penalty to a hat get a hat trick. And has that ever happened, Mark? Was a hat trick scored by three penalties. It, in football, it has. I don't know for Wrexham. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you and your Lincoln <laughs> statistical queen. Not that it happened today, but. Yeah. Well. That one we'll have to leave when Mullen does score a hat trick of uh, penalties. <laughs> but the fact is, Wrexham went crucially. It, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't fluent. A far better performance in the second half. Yeah. Yeah. Wrexham yeah. do come out with the result though. Mullen won a penalty in the first half for a late challenge by Richard Everton and scored it. He won a penalty in the second half when Jordan Davis, yes, Jordan Davis back on as a sub, drilled in a powerful shot which the keeper spilled. And when he went for the rebound, pulled Mullen down. So Mullen with the two goals. The highlight of the game was probably Luke Young's shot from his own half to hit it over a stranded goalkeeper, bouncing onto the top of the bar and going behind. Scunthorpe responded brilliantly to going 1 0 down, and Wrexham, I guess, responded poorly to Scunthorpe's response, if you see what I mean. Um, but nonetheless, Wrexham dug deep. Scunthorpe didn't really cut out, carve out many chances, although there was a shot from 25 yards out which hit the inside of Lincoln's post it's, and yeah. ricocheted inside. That could have been in. And also, when it was 0 0, Lincoln made a good save to his right from a, a fierce volley from Wilson. But the fact is, Wrexham win the. Wrexham get two goals and Wrexham keep a clean sheet for the first time in eight games and all of those things are just really good positives as we look to build the momentum and get through this tough run of fixtures. That'd be nice if our starting lineup on Saturday was our finishing 11 today. Well, they, they certainly looked balanced, they? Didn't did, they, they looked yeah. far more balanced. It was unorthodox, yeah. but a few players had better performances. James Jones ended up at right wing back and Lee switched to the right of the midfield three and, and had a happier game, quite frankly. Jordan Davis had a good cameo. Yeah. Um, it was really nice to see him back on the pitch. Mm. Uh, it was it was a very, very tough game today. Um, Scumthorpe yeah. were very resilient, kept coming back at us. I think Parky will be a little bit disappointed we haven't got a goal from open play in the last two home games. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're, we're not playing the best at the moment, but we're still getting results. Yeah, yeah. And that's what that, that's what good sides do. That's absolutely true. Absolutely yeah, totally true. Totally agree with you, Jake. You know, we are, yeah. we're grinding out results when we need to. Um, you know, even our last away game, we, we ground out the result. We nev never say die attitude. Um, as you said, uh, Young hitting the bar from nearly the halfway line. Then another shot from outside the box, scraped the post. Um, Mullin had another shot saved by the keeper, um, but yeah, but yeah a, a far, far better second half performance. I thought we were better quality football, better passing, mm. didn't lose yeah. it, but didn't give the ball away as easily, yeah. pressed a lot better in the second half. Where first half, we just seemed to set back from uh, Scunthorpe and allow them to play football in front of us. Um, and late, late and had a good game. You yeah. Know, nice back to see lanes and back in the sticks, yeah, isn't it? Back in for his first game, for a full game, and... He did what all he was asked to, you know. He did spill that one ball, but you know, because it swerved right in front of him. But yeah. you know, on the whole, he, he's done a cracking job. Yeah. He commands his area. You know, he, te he, he tells his defence off when when he needs to. Um, so yeah, we can't complain. You know, two goals, yeah, from penalties. Mm. It'd be nice to see a couple of goals from open play. Um, but goals win games, and and a clean sheet, which is is, yeah. is great. I, th I think the clean sheet is the very really important. really yeah. important part of today's fixture, uh -huh. isn't it, Mark? Because there have often been times when you just don't feel we are going to keep that clean sheet. Mm. And it was good to see that we were just were able to close that out so so effectively, really. Yeah, there were times in the first half where we thought, I thought, mm. you know, Scunthorpe were going to score because they were dominating. The second half of the first half, they were far superior team. Mm. Their football was very good. Uh, they were pressing us. We just couldn't, couldn't keep hold of the ball. Um, and whenever we were, you know, hoofing up the field, it would come straight back at us. And they were, they were very good at that. Um, but second half was a totally different game. Um, Back three were steady today, weren't they? They, they were. Very good, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Uh -huh. they played really well, which is good to see after we've had a few crazy performances, um, you know, which is not anyone's fault in many regards because mm. we've had to have a lot of chopping and changing. 
uh, between centre halves. But yeah, a lot of positives to take out of today, I'd say. Yeah, man of the match. I think I know who we're going for. Luke Young. Yeah, he was everywhere, wasn't he? And I thought it was particularly telling that after we lost the grip on the game after scoring the first goal. We came out on the front foot for the second half mm. and I thought Good. Young, totally. he just looked like an embodiment of what Parkinson was looking from the players at half-time. He's had a go at them, he's told them they've got to improve and Young was just buzzing around, scrapping for every single ball, like he's, you know, the manager Man on the pitch. Possessed he was, yeah. yeah. Carrying out what the instruction was, leading by example, I thought he was outstanding. Yeah, very good, yeah. Proper captain's performance mm. today. But I thought Toza deserves a mention. I yeah. thought he did very well. He intercepted an awful lot of balls forwards. Tunnicliffe looked great. Tunnicliffe yeah. comes yeah. back in. It's good. And yeah. we keep a clean sheet. Yeah. Well, there's a coincidence. Oh, I think Clueworth played well as yeah. well. Yeah, Clueworth did well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, there were some good performances. The strikers worked hard again. Things aren't dropping for Palmer, Palmer in the box. So he drew a great save from the keeper in the second yeah. half with a brilliant turn. And his, his work but rate was his great work as rate well. Was excellent. You, you know, yeah. he battles for every ball, makes it difficult for mm. centre halves. But I, I just seem, I look at Ollie Palmer and I think he needs just a little bit of a rest. Mm. That's Maybe what that, I see. you know, this Saturday he may have a rest, you know, and he may be on the sub bench instead of Dolby. And Maybe so. Mullen again, really battles. And it was a constant threat as well. Yeah. I know he scored from penalties, but my word, he's, yeah. he's tasty, isn't he? Fair it, play. It's all round, ha really happy with a 2 0 win. Brilliant. As, at the end of the day, we've got to remember that you know, Scunthorpe are battling to stay in this league. Mm. And, and you know, they're not going to throw the towel in. They, they, they did a good comfort performance. Um, so, yeah, credit to Wrexham for you know, keeping a clean sheet and scoring two goals against them. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant stuff. We're happy. It wasn't fluent. But it's three points. That's all that matters. Never mind the fluency. Count the maths. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. No. no it's no when do I start I. doing this that it's time to Go. stop. Yeah. yeah. It? Consider it. Yeah. What, ten <laughs> o'clock now, Mark. Yeah. I'm on half term though, so I might just stay here for an hour or so. <laughs> You're more than welcome to. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh, it's oh, oh, they're actually the, standing the, up. The real work. She go to work tomorrow. Yeah, aren't yeah, they? I've got to get up. Uh, 10 to 6 tomorrow. Oh, the oh, real work yeah. is going to go to work the tomorrow. Real, yeah. I, I've got to go to the vets at 9 o'clock. I'm going to be declawed. Are they putting you down, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think you've done that enough tonight, Neil. <laughs> hey, hey! Thank you very much. No, he's just got several interviews to do. Oh, yeah, oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The just, vets. <laughs> that probably is the case. You're quite right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Who have I got tomorrow? Who's the vets he going to? We CNN. could pay them. CNN half nine, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> yup, 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 yup. Uh, then I'm going to do, uh, I think, Al Jazeera popping over Al at lunchtime. Al Jazeera. Absolutely. Wow, um, I'm, wow. Uh, you are spread all over the world, Mark. I, I certainly <laughs> am. I'm like I'm like a virus. You're like a marmite. Like marmite? Yeah, spread like... all over the world. Oh, my word. Oh, they've been mocking me. Shocking. OK, let's end this. Not in the sense you were hoping for, but the final <laughs> score of Wrexham 2, Scunthorpe United now. So, Scunthorpe, Wrexham United. 2, Scunthorpe United now. Which is 9 in Welsh, Mark. Ex so. I was thinking, yeah, maybe... Ooh, no, it wasn't, though, was it? No. I think I'll try that again. I can't even see the score. The final score of Wrexham 2, Scunthorpe United 0. We've been Neil Williams, <laughs> Che Long and Mark Griffiths. Happy Pancake Day, everyone. And we'll be back on Saturday. We'll be back on Saturday with cold pancakes, but love in our hearts. <laughs>